Did Google just destroy every single AI coding platform? Not only does Google AI Studio provide you with all these different templates that you can just create an Insta app. Yeah, that's right. We're calling them Insta apps now. We're not even coding anymore. We're just getting an app with a template, but it does seriously put into question, should we even use things like Cursor AI anymore or Codex or Replit? Welcome back y'all in today's video. We're gonna be checking out Google AI Studio. I had a chance to play around with it. It's ridiculous. Coding is not what it was two years ago. Just watch this first example. So fundamentally, let's do two things in today's video. One, let me show you how to use this craziness from Google. And two, let me tell you the use case of someone that's a software engineer, how this would apply in your workflow. All right, first off, there's a bunch of different templates here, y'all. I want you to think of Google AI Studio essentially giving you access to all of Google's ecosystem when it comes to APIs. And what I mean by that is things like Google Maps data or their AI video generation software, Vio. Essentially, that's the first major point of using Google AI Studio. You get a direct line within their ecosystem. I'm saying that if you don't like Google's ecosystem, you might be like, Corbin, Microsoft needs to catch up. All right. I'm not on Microsoft's team. Don't get mad at me. Let's just do an example together. So we're going to use Nano Banana. I know that sounds weird, but essentially think of it like DALE, like an image generation software. So go ahead and just watch this, y'all. I want it so I can upload a photo of someone and have the ability to do a Photoshop like workflow by using prompts like make the person wear a red shirt, add a hat, remove some acne, whatever it may be. This is cool. We're going to use Gemini 2.5 and I'm going to hit build. One thing you'll notice with this builder right away is obviously you can see the different suggestions in the background, but it's really trying to make it so you really don't have to see the code. Because obviously, if you don't know how to code, it can be kind of scary if you come up here and, and hit code. But they really made it hidden, y'all, where essentially they just want you to prompt over here. So we're going to keep prompting until we get this right. But sometimes it's a one shot go. And for all you nerds out there, I'm going to show you how to add it to GitHub, what deploy even means, all that. Okay. So with that one prompt, I'm going to add this image here. And the image I'm going to add is this right here. This was taken for like my old way of doing thumbnails. This is like a Bali room, okay? Y'all some real OGs if you if you recognize these little sunglasses here, okay? <laughs> some of y'all got mad when I wore those in the video. I don't know why. So I'm gonna click this. Nice. Let's just try the first prompt here. Now I might need an API key, but let's just try it. API key? No API key? Okay. Nice. If this works first shot, y'all, people... What? That's insane. Throwback to 2022, I released that. I just call the site like easyphotoshop.com. I'd get 20,000 MMR like that. 20,000 MMR means monthly recurring revenue. It's a software thing, but it's, it works. <laughs> That's the power of this new Google AI studio. Now, obviously I wouldn't need to keep doing iterations here. I would use this chat over here to keep asking questions and changing stuff in the image, but it quite literally put me in a red shirt. So let's go and say, this is beautiful. We love it. How do we add this to our Git repo? Save to GitHub. We're gonna sign in. You already know the workflow here, y'all. This is when they want access to all of it. So I'll go in and say all repositories for now. And what's actually pretty cool here is look at that. We can actually create the repository within Google AI Studio. Now, some of y'all up to this point are watching and you're like, Corbin, what on earth is GitHub? Check me out here. Literally just go to my videos or type in Corbin master GitHub. I got a 46 minute video and a 10 minute video. This is fundamental for even if you like vibe coding. If you're a vibe coder, you're like Corbin, I don't care what the code means. You still need to learn GitHub. It's like the tool. And essentially what you're trying to do, if you don't know what GitHub is, but you're vibe coding, is you're trying to cook pasta. You, you have your pot, it's super hot, but you put no water. Yeah, good luck trying to cook that pasta. Butter and cheese, put it in the microwave, let it crisp up. Give me that Parmesan, I love it. Let's try this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just call it Google Photo. For now, I can make it public. I'm gonna call it the new Photoshop. Create Git repo. And there's an error. Let me try again. Okay, we're in beta. Let me go ahead and show you an alternative way to add this to GitHub. We're gonna say download app. With the app downloaded here, you'll notice it right here. It's gonna be a folder. If you're familiar with using cursor or VS code, this is your repo. If this next step is confusing, watch the GitHub tutorial. I'm gonna go over to cursor here. I'm gonna open project. All right, sweet. It's open. I love it. It looks absolutely beautiful. Let me zoom out y'all. So now that we've done that, this is essentially the app we just created in Google AI studio together, all the code. What I can do now to connect it to GitHub because it seems like their integration's broken. And what's also really funny is I'm pretty sure GitHub's owned by Microsoft. So basically Google just was like, you know what? Fine, we'll, we'll give GitHub more PR, more, more press. You'll essentially just come over here to GitHub profile. And then of course you'll, Go to the description down below, click my GitHub profile, Coffee Fuel Bump, and you'll follow me. Of course you will, right? Like that's part of the process in order for this to work. Just trust the process. Also, free source code every single week. Just download it. Hashtag free code Corbin every single week. You're going to come to your repository. You hit new. I'm going to call it Google app. Don't even need a description. I'll make it public for now. Create repository. Once you do that and you've already come back to this tutorial because you're like, Corbin, like, why doesn't this work? Well, you obviously watched the GitHub tutorial that I told you about, right? 
copy this SSH URL, copy. I am currently in the code that we downloaded from Google. I'm gonna come up here and say this, connect with SSH, provide the link and watch this. Right now we have the starter template of GitHub. We don't like it, it's nasty. Give me my Google code. Now it's saying it's connected, but they haven't pushed it. So push to the cloud, call it Google code. <laughs> Uh, essentially, this is pushing to the main branch. I hope it calls it main branch. Sometimes they'll call it master, but we should see it pop up here. Oh, look at the code. Look at the readme. Is that how you know I'm a professional? Bucky's barbecue sandwiches, brisket barbecue sandwiches. Sometimes they run out. If you know, you know. So we connected to GitHub. Now you quite literally were able to take this code and functionally create something in a real software environment. Coming back over to Google AI Studio, we do have another cool option here of deploy app. Now, what this is gonna do is prompt me to select a project and go down the Firebase and GCP rabbit hole. If you wanna know more about the process of deploying code like this into a real application, literally just click my name, like that Corbin, where I'm going like this, like smiling. And there's a tab now on YouTube called Courses. Just click that and it's all free. Lesson by lesson, showing you how to build out a website from scratch, a software from scratch, an entire backend from scratch, all using Google's ecosystem. The lessons are there, the tutorials are there. The question is, do you wanna learn it? But now we get to the big question of, did Google AI Studio kill Cursor and all these different IDEs and app builders? Not necessarily, because obviously literally during the tutorial, I had to use Cursor, <laughs> but you can see it's getting there. Now, one thing that is very unique about the Google AI Studio that I haven't seen in any other app builder is they really try to hide the code. Now, yes, I get it. If I hit that little code button, it showed it, but you can tell the direction is taking this. Just to take this point a little bit further home, if you go to their X, you can quite literally see them use the term vibe code. If that's not like a stamp of approval or like this is their direction of coding now, I don't know what is. And when I say like a stamp of approval, what I mean, and I'm probably have to do another video on this if you guys even care, coding isn't what it used to be. You don't actually need to know what's happening in the file anymore to build real applications. You need to know how to talk to the AI model to get the best outputs. Therefore, fundamentally, it's kind of turned the whole industry on its head. Someone that is a senior level software engineer is literally skipping and having so much fun right now. Just absolute like unicorns and rainbows right now in the industry because they know how to talk to the AI model and they're getting extremely good code. If you're a complete novice, you're still able to quote unquote vibe code but your vibing takes longer. It's more frustrating. So make sure to subscribe here as I tell you how to actually prompt this to get good code outputs. But that's the idea with this new era that's incurring. Also, by the way, make sure to follow me on X. I talk about other stuff on X. I do like the little X video things where you make it like a 20 second clip, you know, like it's zooming in. <laughs> right, description down below. All right, that just about does it all. As you already know, these style of videos, make sure to leave a like, it's completely free. I'll see you in the next. Did Google AI Studio really just put an X post five coding, which means that they're leaning further and further and further and further into the AI tech in order to make it so that basically anyone in the world could code video. Butter and cheese, put it in the microwave, let it crisp up. Give me that Parmesan, I love it.